Hello clever people and welcome to my review for Maze Runner The Death Cure. So Maze Runner The Death Cure is a film, it's the third film in a trilogy of films about Maze Ru the Maze Runner and it basically started off with these kids that were stuck in a maze and they didn't know why but there were basically people trying to get out of there and then when they got out they went into an area called the Scorch and they learned, which was the Scorch Trials, they learned about this awful disease that was going around and killing off a lot of people and they learned that they were the people who were immune to it and then this one follows them as they have given up on the basically the company that was trying to take them and trying to create a cure from them and they are with a rebel group of people but they learn that one of their friends was kidnapped by the group and taken in and at the same time they know about the fact that there is that one of their friends is now working for that facility so it's about them going to the town the city basically which is basically known as the last known city and they try to break in and save this guy but while they're doing that, it, it's kind of hard to describe. That's the plot of the movie, but clearly this movie is two and a half hours long, so there's a lot of other stuff going on that I can't really get into because it would get too spoilery. Maze Runner was not a movie I was excited for because it really did reek of Allegiant. It's the third film in a trilogy, and the issue is this, the Scorch Trials, I believe came out in 2015. So it's been a while since a Maze Runner movie came out, and I don't know why they prolonged it for this long. I think it might have been shooting conflicts, it might have been the fact that for every release date that they set, they hadn't marketed it well enough leading up to it, and so they didn't want to release it because they could make more money at the box office, but it had been at least, I think it's been two and a half years since the last one came out. So I was just confused why it was coming out. I didn't really think anybody cared about it anymore. Clearly some people do because it made I think like 20 something million at the box office. But still I wasn't really understanding the point of it. And coming out of the movie I can say the same thing. I don't understand why this movie was made. It's a good way to wrap up the trilogy I guess but you can tell that they were uninspired while making this movie because this is one of the most boring films I've seen in a long time. We almost left this January not having a film that was terrible. We had films like Paddington 2, which was excellent, but we also had some mediocre films like The Commuter or Insidious or 12 Strong, which weren't great, but still, we hadn't had a terrible film in January yet, which is so rare. You never see that. Usually January is where they put all the bad films, but you hadn't really had an awful film yet, which was very exciting. And then you had this, and this is January's terrible film. I think that if this and Insidious would have swapped, it would have made a lot of sense, because the first film to come out in January is supposed to be horrendous, and I think that The Maze Runner does fulfill that position. I, a lot of people were enjoying this movie, a lot of people were giving it B's or C's, and leading into it I thought, you know what, it might just be a fun conclusion to watch, but I was bored from start to finish of this movie. Every single minute it just brought progressively worse and worse. At a certain point, I checked, I checked my phone so many times to check how long we were into it, I believe it was like 30 minutes in or so that I fell asleep. And I, I hate falling asleep in movies, it rarely ever happens, but I fell asleep and I woke up and I thought we were near the end of the movie because it felt like I had slept for a while and then I checked my phone and there was an hour and a half left, which was just dreadful. So I had only been an hour into the film and I had already slept for half of it and I stayed conscious for the rest of it, but still, this film was terrible. It's it's just so undeniably long. It is two and a half hours long and this movie should be an hour and a half because literally the last hour and a half of the movie are just like one big giant action scene with a bunch of explosions and a bunch of stakes that really mean nothing. The movie should be huge and impactful because it's supposed to be the end of society. It's supposed to be the end of everything if they can't find the death cure you, you never really feel stakes. You never really feel like anything really matters. It's just a bunch of cinematic noise. You have some good actors in here. Dylan O'Brien is doing fine. There are some older actors that are doing fine. It's just, it's 
it's just so boring and I can't quite pinpoint why. It was just a combination of a lot of things about not caring about the plot and not caring about the characters and the structure being so generic and the story really not meaning anything and the dialogue being so brutally uninteresting. It was just a combination of everything in this movie and it just led for a time that was so dry and dull. It was drier than a desert. I would not want to rewatch this film on any account. It's not as bad bad as, say, The Greatest Showman, but I would rather watch The Greatest Showman another five times than ever watch this movie again, just because it feels like it's 20 hours long. It feels so long, and I haven't been this bored in a movie, really, since Get On Up, which was back in, like, 2014, I believe. That movie felt really, really long, and this one it, it felt even longer. You know, like, Stalker, which is a three-hour movie literally comprised of, like, two and a half hours of shots that are quiet, or like Werkmeister Harmonies, a film that's like two and a half hours and has like, I think, 49 shots, including an 11 minute shot of somebody walking down a street. I was fascinated while watching that movie because Bella Tarr is a genius and clearly the director of this isn't a genius, but still, this film should have been interesting. There were so many different aspects that they could have gone for, and the idea of, you know, favoring society and a lot of the conflicts that a lot of people go through in this movie is interesting, it's just it was thought displayed in an interesting way. I will give Maze Runner The Death Cure a 2.5 out of 10. Well, all right, that concludes my review for Maze Runner The Death Cure. What are your thoughts on this film, or what did you think of the other films in the Maze Runner trilogy? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.